Hi guys, how's it going? It's Enrique, and this is Enzyme RTV. This is a little segment we're gonna call Under the Microscope. And I'm gonna do this so I can produce more videos for you every single week. We're gonna try to upload every single Friday. So, what I'm gonna do with these video segments is I'm gonna take a part of the previous videos and zoom in and concentrate on how I draw them. Today, we're gonna go over the dragon foot. If you haven't seen the dragon tutorial, go to the videos inside of my head and click and check those out first and this will make a lot more sense. All right, let's uh, get into it. When I'm drawing the dragon's front and back paws, I'm gonna, since it's standing on all fours, there is kind of a difference. I'm basing in a lot of it off uh, feline anatomy. The front, So when I draw the dragon claws, the front claws will have about five fingers and the back paws claws, they'll have four, as in like cats and dogs. There, you know, there can be variations, but generally that's usually the way it works. Uh, another thing is when I'm starting the claws, no matter what, and I touched on this on the other video, and I'll link the other video right here when I explain it, I touch on a little bit, is I start from a hockey puck type shape. Let me draw this a little bit darker so you can see it. I start from that form, and I'll split that form into the fingers, designated fingers. It usually has four on the actual hand, and then one is up uh, toward the top. I think it's called dew claw in uh, cats and dogs. There's one finger way up top on the front paw. But I'll start from that shape, and I'll start dividing that shape itself. For example, I will draw circles right here where the claw's gonna be exiting out. Claws are made of keratin, if you, you guys care about that. It's the same material that your hair is made out of, rhinos, horns, uh, horns, and other animals. There's beta keratin and alpha keratin. Uh, not like a bone-like material. Bone's a little bit different. But see, I'll extrude those shapes. And those are just small cone shapes coming out. Kind of altered cone shapes. And that's really a good way to start. You know, from there you can you can draw them bunched together. I'll draw this one bunched together. Dividing up these fat pads that it's pressing down against the ground because it's organic. It's gonna have kind of a rounded form to it. It's gonna be squishiness to the entire thing. And uh, another thing is when I'm shading, I'll go over shading really quick. When you're shading the nail, no matter or the claw. Whatever uh, you know, length that you decide to make it, you can make that giant raptor claw, or you can make it like a short, maybe tiger claw. And I tend to shade it because I consider it. If the light's coming from above, as in nine out of ten times, the light will be coming from above, and it will hit the top of the nail, and then it'll hit the floor beneath the nail, and it will bounce some light up into the nail itself, but not a lot. It's bouncing off the ground. And because of that, you're gonna have a band of black where no light is hitting, or very little light is hitting. And then you'll have right here where it's bouncing off the ground, some reflected light, but not as strong as the light from above. And then the light above can be totally white or it can be lighter. This band of light is called a core shadow. And it makes things look shinier. You see that with all kinds of things. Just a little touch on there. And I'm gonna do that with, that's how I usually shade the nails and you know other features of the claw itself. Let me go and draw kind of a longer claw, like kind of a longer gangly fingers. Starting with the same shape, spreading out a little bit more this time, making it kind of like a pizza. I wanted the fingers to be a little bit longer. Then a wrist. I want the fourth to be over there. Since it's on a hockey puck, it's going to be going around the corner. It's going to be on a radius and on a circle. So remember, as it's going away, you're going to see less of it. I'm going to say circle here, circle here is going to come out over there, and there's one. I'm going to have to imagine on the other side one a little bit toward us, toward us, not toward us.
Anyways guys, that's a little bit closer view of the claw. So, I'll see you later. Don't forget to subscribe and check our videos every week.